This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh's goal is to build food solutions with the least possible impact on the environment. Use the link in the description below and use my code for 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh. Hito's like, uh, no, I was fighting them. And then Hito's like, yes, of course. They're no more than wicked villains. And then he's like, no matter, at least we have their our targets now. And he's like, the disc must be retrieved at all costs, understood? And then Alpha 12's like, yup. And then Hito's like, and now to begin work on the next androids. This time, I'll make ones far stronger and cooler than those so-called heroes. And then everyone's like, heck yeah. And the, the very last panel. Hito says, was it saying Man X is 2 Red Cape just the coolest? Let's start from that. And with that is the chapter. And that's confirmation because what do they wear? They had a red cape, Gamma 1, Gamma 2, definitely inspiration off of Saiyan Man X1 and X2 confirmed. So boys, now that I've said everything there is to say, Kai, let us hear your riveting review of chapter 89 of Dragon Ball Super. It was I. Right. Probably gonna be. It was I. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it, it had its little funny moments, but it was just. It was I. Right. I mean, you try. You tried to make it a little entertaining, but. I listen. I didn't try. Okay. <laughs> you do and a great job honest... making it entertaining, but like the content itself, like it's just it's not there. <laughs> like if I read that shit, I probably would have stopped. Ah. Uh... So I probably would have gone through. <laughs> I probably would have, I don't even know, bro. Uh, you dubbed it. Damn. Yeah, let me, listen, I wasn't even, it's not even like I was trying to make this shit entertaining, man. I was just being me. The whole, like, like I am any other fucking episode, okay? Because that's how you, I keep it real. The real ones. You know what I'm saying? We, we out can here. Can we talk about how busted Piccolo's telepathy is? Because, like, he don't gotta, he don't like, gotta he, he did that in the time chamber. Like, he was talking to Goten and Trunks when they were in the time chamber. Like, this man literally broke dimensions with his telepathy. That's crazy. Yes. He just has to feel their energy, I'm pretty sure. Or but like, you, you can't know, like, when you're in there. Well, yeah, I don't know. Piccolo's just different. No, wait. I'll, well, if we're talking yeah, about that, I'm pr they, they, they did feel, like, the pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's the pressure. You know, they did feel it back, like when they were like on the outside while they were inside training and all that type of shit. But like, but yeah, no, your point is still valid though. Like, you know, Piccolo's tele te te telepathy, telepathy, uh, telepathy. Uh, I can't speak, right? Th that shit, that shit is true because like, I mean, even though he was right outside the door, uh, pretty much, right? Um, but yeah, it, you know, that like, being able to do that across dimensions in that point is pretty od. Yeah. Um, but. But yeah, that's like, you know, because what you brought up, I was like, yo, like, I wonder if they did pick that up from Piccolo then, because it would make sense because like he used to talk to them like that. So I wonder, but because that was something that they kind of slipped in that I was like, oh shit, you know, there is something, you know, outside of all the superhero stuff that, you know, I, you know, I'm enjoying, but I know I'm not a lot of people are. <laughs> but right? I feel but like that's like... something, that's just one of those things that Dragon Ball just throws at characters whenever it's convenient. Because like, if you recall, like, I know this isn't this isn't really the same thing, but it's it's like skating along those lines is uh when <laughs> Gohan was still a child and he was training with Krillin and they were like image training and they were, you know, just like meditating, but they were fighting mm. in their heads. Like that's even crazy. Uh, yeah. I do remember that. Okay. No, I hear I hear you. I hear you. I definitely hear you. And Krillin's that, a human, yeah. so if he can do it, shit. Yeah, I guess it's not like it's not something too crazy, I suppose, because, you know, it's like one of those things that we've I don't want to say we took for granted, but it's just one of those things that you never thought about, you know, because it was just like whatever, like if it happened, it happened. And then like it was only from those few characters and it's not like they ever needed to do to use that where it was like a dire situation. I mean, I'm sure it could have helped in a lot of situations. And then you have other characters like there for those reasons, like like big example obviously tying back to superhero because obviously this is what takes place before that if they knew if they could speak to if they could speak telepathically i'm pretty sure they would have told goku and vegeta hey we need help but guess what they needed to rely on boma to call Whis to tell them and so there's probably levels to this shit there is probably well, levels I was to this say, shit there's, there's definitely levels to this shit because like it there's definitely levels with like goku's instant transmission like how hard he had to try to reach that distance and that's goku right and 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 that's the other thing 
you know because i guess that all right 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 there we kind of figured out the the boundaries of even piccolo's tele telepathic powers because he, if 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 he could like reach out to them he would have he would have but they it was too far so that's why he needed Boma. He could reach and... the time chamber, but he can't reach the Beerus' planet. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that that kind of goes to show you how far in, right. like, distance or whatever, you know, Beerus' planet actually is. Because, you know, it's like, it's funny because for us as fans, and this is the part where I, I, I'm sure a lot of people don't realize, is, like, the way the, the whole scape of or scope of Dragon Ball is... We, we tend to forget easily, very easily, how expanded it really is. Because the way it it kind of comes off sometimes is as if like, oh yeah, like they're going to Beerus' planet. Like it's like the same distance from like Earth to Mars or some shit like that. And that's not the case. Like, but that's how it could feel like sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, oh, they're, they're, they're they frequent there all the time. You know, they, they're constantly going back and forth between those like, planes of existence or whatever but realistically it's not something that you could just take a plane to and fly at you know like they gotta you know have the gods to ascend, literally help them to even get there in the first place um so i think like we should pay attention more closely pay more close attention to that because the second goku and vegeta can just show up on their own that's when we know that they've really like ascended way further than what we realized you know, because everyone just kind of measures everything with fighting and this and that and the third. But like, man, if you got the fucking, if you got, if you, if you got that kind of like, yo, I could take myself to the, to your, your house and y'all can't, oh, like how strong are you really? You know what I'm saying? Like, like imagine one day Goku decides he's going to talk to Beerus or he's going to talk to Whis. Like he's going to make the call without you know the, the the ding right he's not he's not doing that right imagine he does it one day and then we just like how did you reach me and then goku's like oh i just da, 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 right but i feel like goku would do eventually do some shit like that you know at some point so yeah th th those are my thoughts but yeah as far as the chapter goes like you like you already could feel i enjoyed it um i i thoroughly enjoyed all the superhero shenanigans not even shenanigans just like how silly the chapter was this chapter felt like a very like rooted based toriyama like old school type of you know vibes with like all the humor right the comedy was there you know like i i appreciated every little you know scene where beta was trying to throw trunks off to re reveal his identity for being like 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 some evil villain whatever and like Trunks was able to basically like dodge like every little thing or whatever. And I, I like I appreciate it for what it is, but as far as like, you know, the substance that we're all waiting for, um, I don't know. I don't and that's here's the other thing too. I guess we can like segue off of it, like kind of, is like you also have to take a look at the pacing right now. And this is kind of feeling like it's moving along really fast. Which is a good thing in this case, right? Because I know y'all don't want to fuck with this shit, right? Like, I, I don't feel like anything's really dragging. I feel like every chapter has its it, its purpose, and they don't leave things like really open ended, where it's just like, like this th like this chapter was from start to finish like a definitive like part of this arc. You know what I'm saying? Like, chapter eighty eight started off. It had a lot of pages, so it had like you know an advantage. Then chapter, this this is basically chapter two of this arc, 89, where they essentially continued where they left off, but they advanced the story even further, which makes me feel like by the time chapter 90 comes out, they're gonna, they, they, they might show us like uh, the first little tease at the gammas being created, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Just, just based off, because at this point, I, this is where I'm also confused as where exactly the story could go because like since they're kind of throwing like all this new stuff at us and this is like very out of the ordinary from what we're used to seeing like how would you predict what happens next well <laughs> <laughs> so how many how many pages are in a volume it all depends it's it's well in a volume because Dragon Ball chapters 
tend to be between 40 to 45 pages then the volumes usually have maybe four chapters average i think like four to five if if, if that so how many volumes does it take to make an episode <laughs> that that also depends on, on average <laughs> average uh i mean of like okay I if mean, you're trying let's to look at z isn't z like 298 episodes something like that yeah but it had a lot of filler like a lot of filler yeah yeah so that's like looking at the episode number is not really like it's not it's not really like reliable is the best way to put it because because of that you know like think about all this shit with like goku and piccolo trying to get their license you know what i'm saying think about all the episodes of snake way think about yeah, like snake was yo crazy. and see back in the day when we didn't know what the fuck filler was and we're watching this shit we're just like oh my god this shit is taking forever like this this man fell in hell and did all this other side quest shit and then he finally gets the king kai and all that crap mm -hmm. you know a lot of that was filler straight so it's hard to gauge but i mean overall dragon ball z's manga was 26 volumes long and I could let me see. I could check the 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 app. I could just matter of fact. I could just check this the the any list right here. And on average, like there's like forty ish pages per volume for super for super specifically because it's a monthly. Remember, mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, no, I could. I don't know how long this is gonna be. Like, uh, like you would think it's gonna be. I would hope it would cap at like fuck like 12 <laughs> ep by 12 episodes you know 12 episodes long so however many volumes that would take mm -hmm. like that's that that would be my cap this shit this arc should not last longer than 12 episodes it might be less and that's and that's me being nice that is be, that is very generous of you that, actually that's me Holy being shit. Nice because that's 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 what an arc is you know that's what an arc is for a lot of other animals. No, 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 no. That's not what an arc is. This is 2023. That's a whole motherfucking season. And if you're Attack on Titan, nigga, that's three seasons. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Yes. Like, that, like, 12 episodes is pretty... 12, like, 11, 12 episodes, that's, a pre that's pretty much a season. So I'm, I'm basically giving this arc a season, and I really shouldn't be. No, yeah, but, like, but no. like, because I can't see them you know stemming off or giving this like half half a season and then stemming elsewhere like i don't see that really happening unless they're trying to do this and then like halfway through the through this season they'll like they'll progress into the super shit like mm -hmm. into the superhero movie and then get that shit out the way but by the end of the season like predicament yeah but so that's just my that's just me hoping yeah see like i feel like the more realistic approach when it comes down to like trying to compare it to like how many episodes this is gonna take i mean obviously we're gonna have to see how this all plays out obviously right but i feel like for something like this like if my predictions are accurate and it stays this way it flows the same way it paces itself the same way i believe that for one this shouldn't be that much longer we might get maybe four to six more chapters and that'll put us like well into the summer right well into the summer. yeah well into the summer um for anime's perspective i would say six to eight episodes and that's it six to eight oh, you, could, you could fit that shit on one disc oh they better they, i don't know what the fuck they're gonna do this that. arc this arc since it's treat it since it's be it's supposed to be a prequel a prelude to the superhero movie I can't imagine it going so long. Like, this is not your average arc that they're giving us where we don't know how long it's going to be. And how long until the, the anime comes back? Well, we still don't know. That's, that's something yeah, we've that's been still, asking for like four well, years. We're, we're probably, we're probably yeah. not going to get that shit until next year then. So, scratch that shit. You really think... In, we're in 2023 now. We're Yeah, but like... October. Like, like, aren't we already getting spring animes? Or like when, like you know what I'm saying? Like when's that? Sh when when are spring anime is officially out? Well, see, you know it's different 
because it's Dragon Ball. They they look, you know how Dragon Ball they sh they go on their own time. They don't fucking listen to what season it is. They don't give a shit about that. They literally they will they will drop whenever they want to drop. Nah. It's not like Black Clover and My Hero and Attack on Titan even. You know? They all have some sort of structure even disregarding how many part 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 of a final that Attack on Titan has. You know what I'm saying? Even disregarding all that shit, they still have like, okay, this is when we're coming out. You know what I'm saying? Dragon Ball don't do that. They'll literally they they will they will have they'll <laughs> right now the way it's been the last several years they don't say shit. They just leave us fucking hanging on this tiny little piece of hair, and the second anybody it doesn't even matter it could be from all the way to geek them to some random on twitter that ends up deleting their account anyway because they they fucking ask themselves out trying to be like oh yeah i have all this information and this is what's gonna happen and then none of it happens head ass right and and like but everybody hangs on anything i can make a fake account right now a fucking easter egg fucking account right now no profile picture, nothing. I could just drop, be like, all right, Super's coming out on May 9th. And you want to know Sources why? Sources these nuts. Right. <laughs> I'll literally be like, May 9th. Why? Or no. Is it May 9th? Goku Day. Or, yeah, you know where I'm getting at. Goku yeah. Day, right? That's a that's a real day in Japan. And because, it's, because by association, we are fucking looking at everything that they're doing, despite them not wanting to look at shit that they're doing. We know what Goku Day is. So I'll, I can make a fake account right now. I'll be like, <laughs> yo, Super's coming back. It's going to be called Dragon Ball Super Z2X. Right? <laughs> and it's coming back on Again. Goku Once. Day. Again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Hyping it up. And, and people are going to, and they will like it. They'll retweet it. They'll be like, oh, this new account. <laughs> oh, we, oh, oh, my views. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what's good. Yo, that's what people are going crazy. They've already lost their minds. Not people are losing. It's gone. It's, it's gone already. Talk about that's how it goes. Super people be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. I don't know. Either way, as far as this chapter is concerned, or the arc, mm, I, I would be surprised if it actually goes beyond June. Like, whatever number ch chapter is, so like, 90 is February, 91 is March, 92 is April, 93 is May, 94. So, if, not, if chapter 95, this shit is not done, that's OD. Mm -hmm. We're looking at July. I'm hoping that's that's like a big prediction, right? Just off of nothing. So take it for what you will. I did look up the chapter numbers for Z. Um, Z had 325 chapters. I was right about the volumes, 26 volumes. Um, yeah, Super is currently at 17 volumes with only 89 chapters. And that makes sense because, you know, it's it's not a weekly release. Dragon Ball Z was releasing on a weekly basis. This shit's coming out once a month. And they're longer. You know, Dragon Ball Z chapters back in the day, Dragon Ball chapters back in the day, those were like the actual average, like 15, 18 pagers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's gotta be a math to this shit. <laughs> because well, that sometimes. Makes it, kinda, it really depends on the content. It, it depends on the content. And it depends on how much dialogue versus action. Because do they take... They, they don't in the anime they don't take page per page or page per page right well that's in, the thing the because anime. you have to remember animes are adaptations right right so which means that there will be changes and that's where filler content comes from or comes in it, that's where it comes in so like if they want to add a little extra dialogue or they want to throw in some random scenario that didn't happen there that, you go anime no filler yeah, when you want no filler, you gotta look at things like fucking Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood or some nah, shit like I gotta that. Look at Bleach. Oh yeah. What are you talking about? That fucking Thousand Year Blood War arc. Yeah, check out the reactions. All twelve episodes. Uh, out here. Bleach was fire. 
See that? Yeah, Dragon Ball needs to look out, look at what Bleach is doing. They need to take a, they need to take a fucking page out of Tite Kubo's book. Like, all right, this guy he took a break because of health reasons. Now he's back again once again. This guy's fucking firing on all cylinders. Okay, he told Studio Mappa, fucking make this shit godlike, and that's what they, that's what they're doing. And they're apparently gonna make it even better now. So that's, I can't, I can't wait to see what the fuck that shit looks like. But oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>